It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 1772, and I'm Dr. Neil, your host of the show. Hey there, welcome back to another special Friday edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I answer your health questions related to fitness, diet and nutrition, and lots more. You send in the questions, and I answer them for you. And if you want to send in an audio question, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask, or you can call in your question by dialing 61 I love ohd And don't forget, I'm also taking email questions. You can send those directly to health at oldpodcast.com. Now, today's question is an audio question, but the audio got a little messed up and we tried to fix it as best we could. So I apologize in advance if it's a bit difficult to hear, but I'll repeat the main points of the question after you hear the audio. So with that, Let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Hi, Dr. Neal. I'm so confused. There's so much information out there about how best to treat my diabetes. I am a type 2 diabetic, and I have tried low-carb, low-protein, no-carb, intermittent fasting, high-protein, you name it. I keep following whatever is out there, and so I was wondering if you could help me sort that out. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to call in your question. And again, apologies for the audio quality. Basically, the caller was asking about which diet is best for those with diabetes. The information seems so conflicting at times that it is hard to know what to make of all of it. In fact, if you were to ask 10 physicians, which diet is best for those with diabetes, you may hear five different answers. And some of those are often contradictory. Frustrating, I know. My answer will only make sense though after I mentioned a few things about diabetes. First, I have to say I'm glad I wasn't a doctor back in the days of ancient Greece. Get this, during those days, doctors would diagnose diabetes by tasting their patient's urine. Now, why would that even be a thing? Well, because if the urine tasted sweet, it meant the person had diabetes. Now, why would urine taste sweet? Well, that would be because there was too much sugar in it. If there's sugar in the urine, This meant that the sugar was not being absorbed and used by the body. Basically, the sugar was getting excreted. It wasn't being absorbed. And that's the issue with diabetes. The fuel that we're eating is not being absorbed and used. In fact, the term diabetes mellitus or diabetes mellitus, same thing, translates to sweet tasting urine. Now, I promise I do have a point. When we think of which foods the body most readily converts to sugar or glucose, it comes down to carbohydrates. Foods like rice, pasta, cereals, breads, pastries, and so on are rapidly converted by the body to sugar. And yes, protein-rich foods and even those foods that are high in fat can also get converted to sugar, but it doesn't happen as efficiently. So if we can control the types of foods we eat, we can help the body create less excess sugar and hopefully manage our diabetes better. So which diet is best for diabetes? Well, the answer then really lies in the types of carbohydrates and the types of fats and protein we're consuming. The reason why some studies may mention that a high carbohydrate diet may be helpful while others say the exact opposite really comes down to this fundamental concept. I mentioned that high carbohydrate foods like rice, pasta, cereals, breads, and so on are easily converted to glucose or sugar by the body. But there's one important detail I didn't mention the type of food is important. For example, the body converts white rice to sugar very quickly and very easily. Wild or brown rice, on the other hand, not so much. Whole grain pastas are not converted to sugar as quickly as white pastas. Same goes for whole grain breads as opposed to highly refined breads. So, not all carbohydrate-rich foods are bad. It's the type that's most important. Also note that these less refined carbs are also higher in fiber. We're learning that fiber can help our body cells absorb sugar more easily, which is what we want. So one of the reasons you might hear that a high carbohydrate diet is helpful for diabetes is because what they really mean to say is a diet high in whole or minimally processed carbohydrates may help manage diabetes. Now, what about fat? I mentioned that the body can also convert fat to sugar, just not as easily as it can with carbohydrates. But just like carbohydrates, 
the type of fat is most important to consider. The story about fat and its links to diabetes is a bit more complex. This is because it's not just about how quickly the body can convert fat to sugar. There's another factor that's even more important to consider. For example, saturated fat, the kind you usually find in greater quantities in animal products, like red meat and butter, actually changes our bodies on a cellular level. We're learning that a diet high in saturated fat may block your body's ability to absorb sugar properly. Again, it's not just about how quickly the body converts it to sugar, but instead what it does to our body's cells that can affect how we use that sugar. When we look at how other fats affect our cells, we're finding that diets high in monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats may improve our ability to process sugar. This means there'll be less sugar in the urine, which is a good thing. Foods high in monounsaturated fat include avocado and most forms of nuts. When it comes to polyunsaturated fats, the most beneficial types are omega-3 fats, the kind you find in cold water fish, like salmon, mackerel, halibut, and trout. So after all of this, what seems to be rambling background, which diet is best for managing diabetes? Well, I would say the best diet would be, one, a diet that contains lots of whole or minimally processed carbohydrates, contains a decent amount of fiber, meaning at least 25 grams of dietary fiber per day, is low in saturated fat and trans fat, but high in monounsaturated and omega-3 fats, and moderate to high in protein. One of the habits that I recommend to pretty much all of my diabetes patients is anytime you eat something that's high in carbohydrate, even if it's a whole grain, have some protein with it. So if you're having apple slices, have some nut butter with it. If you're having whole grain toast, put some nut butter on top. If you're eating strawberries, have some Greek yogurt with it. You get the idea. When you want to improve your work life, you surround yourself with the best people you can find. So how do you find them? You need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Find great talent faster through time-saving tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it makes hiring all in one place so easy because with virtual interviews, Indeed saves you time. You can message, schedule, and interview top talent seamlessly all in one place. Indeed makes it easy to connect with your applicants. No need to install anything extra. Indeed's virtual interviews work from your browser. Sign up for Indeed now and get a $75 credit toward your first sponsored job. Plus, earn up to $500 extra in sponsored job credits with Indeed's virtual interviews. Visit indeed.com slash health to learn more. Claim your credits at indeed.com slash health. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Thank you again so much for taking the time to send in your question. And if you want your question answered right here on the show, don't hesitate, send one in. You can email one directly to health at oldpodcast.com. Or if you want your voice on the show, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. You can record right from your computer's microphone. It's really easy. You can even play back your message and do retakes before sending it in. Or you can do it the old fashioned way and call in your question. The number is country code 161-I-LOVE-O-H-D. All right, that'll do it for another edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for your continued support. I hope you have a great start to your weekend and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.